an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond. That's what a noted astrophysicist believes might be the case. And he says an image from the Hubble telescope backs him up. Most scientists agree that the so-called 3i atlas is a comet from another solar system. In just weeks, an object from another star system will reach the most critical point of its passage through our planetary system. Astronomers call it 3i atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever detected. On October 29, it will swing past the sun at perihelion, the closest point in its orbit. From Earth, however, the comet is already slipping into the sun's glare, vanishing from telescopes at the very moment it grows most active. The timing might seem disastrous, but orbiters around Mars are perfectly placed to take over, offering humanity a singular chance to witness an interstellar comet at its peak. Perihelion is when a comet shows its true nature, at this point in its orbit, solar radiation becomes most intense, warming the nucleus and triggering jets of gas and dust. These eruptions create a coma, the hazy envelope around the nucleus, and extend into a long, luminous tail that streams away from the sun. At perihelion, a comet can brighten dramatically, sometimes flaring unpredictably, and in some cases, breaking apart entirely. This volatile stage reveals the internal structure of the nucleus, exposing fresh ices and materials that have been sealed away for billions of years. To astronomers, perihelion is the critical phase for unlocking a comet's secrets. For 3i Atlas, perihelion will occur at 1.36 astronomical units from the Sun, slightly beyond Earth's orbit. Although not a close shave, the heat will still be enough to drive vigorous activity. The timing, however, is less than ideal. As of late September, the comet is moving into solar conjunction, disappearing into the Sun's glare from Earth's perspective. Through October and early November, it will be unobservable by Earth-based telescopes, just as perihelion activity peaks. This alignment threatens to leave astronomers blind during the most scientifically valuable weeks. Yet, the cosmos has provided a workaround. By chance, 3i Atlas will pass relatively close to Mars on October 3rd, just weeks before perihelion. At about 0.19 AU, or roughly 30 million kilometers, the comet will be well within reach of the instruments carrying by the spacecraft orbiting the red planet. These orbiters, operated by multiple space agencies, were not built to study comets, but many have cameras and spectrometers capable of turning outward. For a brief period, Mars will become humanity's observatory, bridging the gap until Earth can see the comet again in December. The fleet includes some of the most capable spacecraft ever sent to another planet. The European Space Agency's Mars Express, launched in 2003, is still operating after more than two decades in orbit. Its high-resolution stereo camera has mapped the Martian surface in 3D, but pointed at the sky, it could resolve the shape of 3i Atlas's nucleus and coma. Mars Express also carries Omega, a visible and infrared spectrometer. Together, these instruments could detect the chemical fingerprints of gases escaping from the comet, traces of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, or water vapor. The comet's brightness and distance will make this challenging, but even partial detections would provide precious data about an object from another star system. More powerful still is the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, or TGO, launched in 2016 as part of the ESA Roscosmos ExoMars program. Its primary mission is to analyze the Martian atmosphere, focusing on trace gases such as methane, water vapor, and carbon monoxide at concentrations as low as a few parts per billion. The spacecraft carries several highly sensitive instruments. Most relevant for observing 3i Atlas is NOMAD, the Nadir and Occultation for Mars Discovery Spectrometer Suite, which covers ultraviolet, visible, and infrared wavelengths. NOMAD is capable of distinguishing the molecular fingerprints of gases like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and water, 
precisely the species expected to dominate the comet's coma. If the comet is bright enough, NOMAD could detect subtle variations in these volatiles, offering direct evidence of the chemical conditions under which the comet formed in its original stellar system. In addition to its spectroscopic power, TGO is equipped with CASSI, the Color and Stereo Surface Imaging System. Normally, CASSI provides high-resolution color and 3D images of the Martian surface, but it can also be repurposed to observe targets in deep space. For 3i Atlas, CASSI could capture the structure and evolution of the comet's tail, monitoring how it responds to solar radiation and the solar wind as perihelion approaches. Combining CASSI imaging with NOMAD's compositional data would yield both a visual and chemical portrait of the comet, something that Earth-based telescopes, constrained by solar conjunction, cannot provide. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, adds another layer of observational strength. Operating since 2006, MRO carries HiRISE, the High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment Camera, which can resolve objects on Mars's surface as small as 25 centimeters across. Though designed for planetary geology, HiRISE has occasionally been used to image other spacecraft and stars, demonstrating its ability to target faint moving objects. With careful pointing, it could obtain extremely detailed views of 3I Atlas's coma and perhaps glimpses of its nucleus. HiRISE's limitation is its very narrow field of view, meaning tracking accuracy must be precise. But if successful, it could return the sharpest images ever taken of an interstellar comet. MRO also carries MARSI, the Mars Color Imager, a wide-angle camera that monitors Martian weather. MARSI provides broad context imaging at lower resolution, and when applied to 3i Atlas, it could track changes in the comet's extended tail over days and weeks. The two instruments complement each other. HiRISE could capture fine-scale structures, while MARSI reveals large-scale dynamics, giving a multi-layered view of how the comet evolves under solar heating. Several other orbiters in Mars orbit may contribute valuable data. The Emirates Mars mission, known as HOPE, launched by the United Arab Emirates in 2020, carries instruments that measure the Martian atmosphere across infrared and ultraviolet wavelengths. These spectrometers could be redirected to detect escaping gases from 3I Atlas's coma, especially water and carbon dioxide. China's Tianwen-1 orbiter, also launched in 2020, carries medium and high-resolution cameras, a magnetometer, and spectrometers. Although optimized for Mars, its payload could still provide imaging and basic spectral data of the comet. NASA's MAVEN, the Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution mission, launched in 2013, specializes in ultraviolet observations of the upper atmosphere and its interaction with the solar wind. Its spectrographs could detect ultraviolet emissions from molecules such as hydrogen and carbon produced when solar radiation breaks apart cometary gases. Even the aging Mars Odyssey, in orbit since 2001, remains operational and could play a supporting role either by attempting simple observations or by relaying data from other spacecraft back to Earth. Together, this multinational fleet forms a diverse set of instruments capable of providing both imaging and spectroscopy across multiple wavelengths. If coordinated effectively, their observations could deliver a comprehensive record of 3I Atlas's behavior during the weeks surrounding perihelion, ranging from its nucleus and coma to the chemistry of its escaping gases and the evolution of its tail. The combined power of these orbiters means that for the first time in history, an interstellar comet may be studied in detail at perihelion. Previous interstellar visitors were far less accessible. In 2017, Oumuamua passed too quickly and faintly for detailed observation, leaving behind more mysteries than answers. In 2019, 2I Borisov was better observed but turned out to be chemically similar to ordinary solar system comets. 3I Atlas presents a new opportunity, a comet bright enough to study, 
unusual enough to challenge assumptions, and perfectly aligned with Mars to ensure perihelion observations are not lost. Early data already suggest intriguing differences. Observations show that 3I Atlas is dominated by carbon dioxide outgassing with relatively little water. Most solar system comets, by contrast, are rich in water ice with carbon dioxide playing a secondary role. This raises questions about the comet's birthplace. Perhaps it formed farther from its parent star, in colder regions where carbon dioxide ice was abundant. Or perhaps its star's protoplanetary disk had a different composition altogether. The dust released by the comet also behaves oddly, scattering light in unusual ways that do not match the properties of dust from solar system comets. These hints suggest 3I Atlas may carry the imprint of a very different planetary system. What the Mars orbiters will see is uncertain. The comet may simply brighten steadily as it approaches perihelion, behaving like a typical comet with different chemistry. It may undergo sudden outbursts, releasing gas and dust explosively. It may fragment, splitting into multiple pieces that continue to shed material. Or it may surprise astronomers with phenomena never before seen. Whatever the case, Mars orbiters will be watching, recording the comet's behavior during the most active phase of its journey. The stakes are high. Interstellar objects are rare, and alignments like this are rarer still. Each observation of 3I Atlas adds to a record that cannot be repeated. By December, when the comet emerges from behind the Sun and becomes visible again from Earth, astronomers will be able to combine ground-based data, space-based telescope observations, and the Mars orbiter results into the most complete profile of an interstellar comet. Beyond the specifics of 3I Atlas, the larger significance is profound. These interstellar objects are fragments of other planetary systems, ejected during their early history. They carry chemical signatures of environments around other stars, preserved for billions of years in deep freeze. Studying them is the only direct way to sample the chemistry of other solar systems without leaving our own. The questions they address are fundamental. How do planetary systems form? Are the building blocks of comets, and perhaps life itself, universal? Or is our solar system unusual in its composition? As of late September, preparations are underway. Earth-based observatories are racing to capture final data before conjunction. Teams managing Mars spacecraft are planning observation campaigns, adjusting pointing schedules, and calibrating instruments. The comet is faint, distant, and moving quickly, but the potential payoff justifies the effort. Every instrument that can be turned toward 3I Atlas will be, creating a network of eyes that spans nations and agencies. For astronomers, the coming weeks represent both a challenge and a chance. The challenge is technical, tracking a moving comet from Mars orbit, extracting faint signals from instruments designed for a different purpose, the chance is scientific, the possibility of finally obtaining a detailed chemical and physical profile of an interstellar comet at its most active. It is a moment shaped by coincidence, but rich in opportunity. On October 29, 2025, 3I Atlas will reach perihelion. Earth will be blind, but Mars will see. Orbiters circling the red planet will record what unfolds, whether steady brightening, explosive outbursts, or fragmentation. When the comet re-emerges in December, Earth's telescopes will resume the watch, piecing together a continuous record from before, during, and after perihelion. In 2017, Oumuamua slipped past with barely a trace. In 2019, 2I Borisov showed us something familiar but uninspiring. In 2025, 3I Atlas offers something different, a comet active enough to study, strange enough to provoke questions, and timed so that Mars can keep watch when Earth cannot. It is a singular chance, one that may not come again for decades or centuries. For a brief period, as sunlight sears its icy surface, 3I Atlas will flare in brilliance. From the red planet, humanity will be watching, capturing the story of a fragment from another star system. And whatever secrets it reveals, 
will deepen our understanding of how worlds are made, not just here, but across the galaxy.